seen him on Hulu's Man Up Stand Up. He's also a local legend in the San Diego comedy scene. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give you a round of applause for Mr. Eric Knowles! <laughs> It was a weird song, sorry. Uh, let's have a round of applause for all the comics we've seen so far. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sure. All right, my name's Eric. I'm happy to be here. Um, and I'm not just saying that like as a cliche comic thing to say. I'm happy to be here. I really mean it. I have four kids at home. I'm fucking happy to be right here. Right now. With a babysitter. <laughs> wow, it feels good. Yeah, I have four kids. I'm tired, obviously. Uh, Three of my kids are stepkids, though, uh, so that means I have one kid that I love for sure. <laughs> Three more babies, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm a stepdad. Anybody else in that boat? Step parents? That's the troops we should be having parades for out there. <laughs> step parents. All right. I really am excited to be out of the house. <laughs> oh, just all day long with questions, man. Questions. I, I really, I have great kids. I have great kids. I have three. Great stepkids, they're 7, 11, and 12. They're, so they're old enough to know that I can't hit them without going to jail, so I don't have that leverage, you know? <laughs> they know it, they, they rub it in my face all the time. You're not my dad, Eric. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would never hit him, but sometimes I get that quick jerk in my arm, like, Ugh. <laughs> I would never hit him, you can't hit kids that you didn't make. That's like the rule, you know? So. <laughs> I'm not gonna break that rule, you know. I know I gotta play by the rules. I have to find stepdad loopholes, you know. Like, so now I pay a kid at his school to hit him. <laughs> Genius, right? Hands off. I don't even have to be there, man. I don't know why you're getting bullied at school. Maybe clean your room, like I said. I might stop. <laughs> gotta think outside the box, man. Yeah, the kids are great, man. They're, they're great. They, uh... It's not really that much pressure on me, really, as a stepdad. Because they have a dad who lives in town, same town I do, 50-50 custody. They see him all the time, you know. There's not a lot of pressure. There's not, like, a void for me to fill in their lives, you know. So I feel like, you know, I can be a little stone for some of it, you know. Like, just a, a little bit, you know. I'm not saying all the time, every now and then. I'm not saying, like, I get blazed up and drive them to church, you know. But I have a prescription. Every now and then, I just go take a break. and then, it does, it really helps, you know, I, it does, oh, okay, hear me out, I, uh, the kids are high, why can't I be, like, the kids are stoned all day, just completely high, I recognize it in them, they just ask the highest questions, you know, like, where does the moon come from, I don't know, like, I saw a dog today, really, and then what, that's it, okay, now what do you want to do, I'm hungry, yeah, I bet you are, Every now and then I just gotta sneak to the garage and add a little, just to get on their playing field, you know? <laughs> I'm sneaky, they don't know anything about it. I can do it separately, I, you know, they never smell it or know anything about it. They don't even know what it is that they love about me so much, you know? <laughs> they don't know what it is that they do, they love that about me. They rave about it all the time, they just can't put their finger on it, you know? <laughs> they do all the time, like, Eric, why are you different than the other grown-ups? I'm like, why? How am I different? What do you mean? I'm like, well, you don't know. You play our games. You laugh at our jokes. Like, you always have fun. Why is that? You know, I'm like, I don't know. You guys are just cool, man. <laughs> I like you guys. I'm hungry. Let's go have snacks. Yay! We love it. It really does help. I have a seven-year-old stepdaughter, a beautiful little girl named Riley, and she loves me. She gave me a, a bracelet for Christmas. It says BFF on it, as the two hearts combined on it, and she has one just like it. And that melted my heart, you know? I was like, wow, this is getting real, man. This little girl loves me. Why is this happening? I had to do an evaluation of myself. It turns out, I put in the time. I did it. I put in the hours with that little girl. I played tea party, Barbies, makeup, <laughs> pretend of all kind, you know? Make polish on my nail. None of that would have been possible without medicinal marijuana. That's what was the point. <laughs> It's bringing families together. It's real love. Bracelet. So remember that next time we're voting, all right? It's really helping. All right. Uh, we have any military folks here tonight? Any veterans, anything like that? No? They're all deployed? That's fucked up. 
No veterans or nothing? What about you? You got a short haircut. Just, you just can't do it anymore. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> me too, yeah. 28, I'm like, alright, that's enough. <laughs> See, me and you, we're bald instead of balding. See what I mean? That's like, I'm doing it myself. It's not happening to me. <laughs> bald by choice. Well, that's cool. I like to give it up to our military folks when I can, but they're not here, so that's cool. I was in the Marines from 1998 to 2003. Right. Thank, you. Thank you. I like you guys just assume that I did a good job while I was there. I like that. I, I, uh, I tried very hard. I, I didn't do that well, really. The Marine Corps is no place for a stand-up comedian, it turns out. I just got in a lot of trouble the whole time. They're so serious. The Marines are serious all the time. Like, I'm okay. I can be serious when I need to, but all the time, like, even on our time off, you know, like, they would be shining their boots and everything. What do you guys want to do? We gotta shine our boots! Like, why? We're serious! Like, okay. Me too! <laughs> I never really buy in all the way, you know? I tried. It was, it was very motivating. It was. At time, most of the time, I felt really motivated and proud and patriotic. We used to go on these formation runs for miles through Camp Pendleton. You know, singing cadence is super motivating. You know, one of my favorites was one, two, three, four, and we'd all yell, Marine Corps! One, two, I'll give me some more. Marine Corps! Right? Big good stuff. But I'd be saying, cream corn. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just my way of escaping a little bit. <laughs> cream corn! <laughs> Screaming about cream corn for miles through Pendleton, man. Just a Hallucinating on a runner's high. It's like, maybe that's why they call them the Colonel. It's a cream corn. I <laughs> did, I could never fit in, really, uh, you know. They used to ask such stupid questions all the time. They didn't make a stand around. We used to have safety meetings, which was where we just had to stand in formation at Miramar for like two hours while the CEO tells us to be safe for the weekend. The worst one was 1999, you know, Y2K. It was like a three-hour speech. We're standing out there in the parking lot, just listening. You gotta be careful. Just anything you can think of when you're mowing your grass. Don't twist your ankle. We're like, come on, just let us go. We're gonna be off for four days. Yeah. So finally, at the end of it, he asked that rhetorical question. All right, well that's gonna be it. You know, unless anybody has any questions. You know, and that, well, you're not supposed to ever ask any questions. But I was in the back rank thinking, you know what? He made me listen to a bunch of stupid shit. Like, I got a question. Yeah. <laughs> no, put your hand down. Like, no, I got a question. Sorry. No, what's your question? Sir, how do you know when you're in love? <laughs> Shut up, Knowles. <laughs> and dude, I got in a lot of trouble. I, uh, it was fun, though. I had a lot of fun. It was just a big culture shock, really, the Marines in general. Boot camp was crazy. Like, just in 20, a 24 hour period, I left my home in Southeast Texas. Like, for the first time, I got on a plane and came to San Diego. It all happened so fast. Jumped off the bus, get on the yellow footprints, they yell at you, tip, teach you the rules, strip you down naked, keep you that way for a crazy amount of time. Like, it was weird. Like, like, most of the first day, they're just marching you around naked for fun. Like, just through cubicles, people typing, hey, there's the naked people, sorry. <laughs> It was scary and weird. It was like, I don't know. And then the, finally they give us clothes. You know, they took away our clothes and gave us new clothes. And we had our name, like a stamp with our name on it. We had to stamp everything on our, uh, all of our clothes. Every sock, every underwear, every shirt, which I thought was weird. And the whole first day lasted forever. And finally, it was bedtime. You know, I'm like, finally, we're going to go to sleep. So they're like, okay, put on the following articles of clothes. This is how you dress for bed at Marine Corps boot camp. Put on this and this and this. It was... They made us put on these tidy whitey brief underwear and these green t-shirts. And they made us tuck the t-shirt into the underwear. Which I was like, why are you making this be so cute? Like, it's adorable. <laughs> and we looked like we were just a bunch of kids pretending to be Marines wearing Marine Corps underoos. You know? It was just cute. Like, march over here! We're Marines now! We're doing it! Tidy whitey underwear, I wasn't used to that. And it had my name stamped right on the front. They made a stamp right there. Like, why do that? Like, it's messed up, you know? We're trying to learn each other's names and shit. Like, we just got there, you know? Hey, nice to meet you, Garcia. <laughs> so that was weird, and finally we went to sleep. Sleep was over like that, you know? It seemed like just a blink of an eye, it was readily. It's 5 a.m. Time to get up. He's banging a trash can lid, just like in the movies. Get up and get out of bed! I jumped up, 
And I was in trouble right away for having a boner, like right in the morning. He was so mad at me, like I had planned it or something. <laughs> Just, he didn't let it slide. He was not polite about it at all. He just, welcome to Marine Corps Boot Camp. Today is day one. We're going to be working on what the fuck is this right here? What is that? Right in front of everybody. He's calling me out. Everybody look over there. Why are you hard, Nose? Just yelling at me. I was like, why are you guys not? It's morning. I'm 19. This is going to happen every time. I'm sorry. 15 minutes, just stop looking. <laughs> it wouldn't leave it alone, you know, all I needed was just some privacy. Let me go pee or something, let me walk it off, you know. It'd make me stand just like this. <laughs> Made everyone else do push-ups. And he's marching around, everybody's gonna keep doing push-ups until Noel's boner goes away. <laughs> that is a lot of pressure. Just left Texas, now this is happening. I'm just trying to wish it away. Oh, I'm sorry. Everybody was mad at me because they had to do like 400 push ups. I don't know why it took so long. It's a weird feeling knowing everybody in the room is upset about your boner. So stop thinking about it. Plus, the drill instructor kept pointing it out like, you guys enjoying those push ups? Well, let's see how Knowles is doing over here. <laughs> oh, still turned on, huh? <laughs> He's like, I'm not turned on, but quit breathing on it. Like, back up for a second. <laughs> Spill your tongue. It's not helping. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I did for our country. You're welcome. I did have fun in the Marines, I, you know, ups and downs, a lot of fun and a lot of trouble. You know, I got busted down. I lost rank three times while I was in, yeah, and I got out honorably, which is hard. You know, but they liked me, though. 